Have you ever wondered why? <laughs> What's that noise? Who's under my bed? Well, then you're in luck. Because you're listening to the Hypotheticast. Three best buds. On a mission to ask all the questions. And get all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> almost halloween <gasps> is that why i feel this way you got any plans friends mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's a good question i don't know let me check my schedule whoa my phone turned into a bat <laughs> oh, it's too close to halloween to use phones mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a pretty good bit what, what it's your phone turning into I'm like, <laughs> everyone say their names when you say your halloween plans say your name please oh, my, my name's name David and my phone's turning into a bat <laughs> My name is Emily the Ghost. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. I love everything that we've said so far. Hope, who are you? Wait, I spoiled it. <laughs> Hope's, Hope's back. Still here. <laughs> Hope's back. I spoiled it. <laughs> so spooky. Back from the dead. Oh my God. Yes, she, she died at the end we, of the last episode. We did. And then her. we brought her back. And she backed. I love a good redemption story, Elijah. <laughs> Uh, and, and who is that gentleman over there? Me? Oh, that it's one. me, Mike. For it's Halloween, you. I'd like to see a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown? <laughs> I'll settle for any I old pumpkin. I hope your dreams come true, sir. <laughs> I think you. that'll be really difficult. Just see one. <laughs> wow. I never have, you see. <laughs> um, yeah. I heard them described. Um, you know, I found, I think we should get right into this because I I've, I found a hundred Halloween would you rather. Oh Mike, my God. Are we going to do them all? Um, Let's try to do I all I don't of them. think we should do all <laughs> of them. They're not all good. Yeah. Oh no one God. even answer. We'll just laugh. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> read <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I we've done a lot of Halloween stuff on the show. Yeah. We have maybe done some of these it's before. Possible. It's possible. Feel free to let me know if you feel like we've done it, talked about it. <laughs> and also get over it. Also, yeah, also, just like this hey, is free content. Yeah. This is free yeah. content. Um, go to our Patreon if you want the exclusive <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yep. Go start a Patreon for us. For us, yes. Exclusive. Become our producer and start a Patreon. Um, so I found this on confessionsofparenting.com. <laughs> oh, I, this yeah. is going to be good. I don't know why uh-huh. it's called that. Uh-huh. I'm um, but this in. is the 100 Would You Rather Halloween 100. questions. 100. Number one. Would you rather be a real life vampire or werewolf? Vampire. Real life. Vampire. Uh, yeah, vampire. 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 Okay, next one. Uh, <laughs> would you rather easy, yeah. walk through a graveyard at midnight or spend a night in an abandoned house? Graveyard at midnight. Oh, graveyard, graveyard at midnight. An abandoned house, actually. More more opportunities for events. I don't know why I think that. A graveyard, think, more open rooms. air. Open air. I can run <laughs> to the, to, I don't know where. To away. <laughs> Well, because here's the thing. Yeah. There's this. There's a road in Minnesota. It's the most haunted road. Mm. Yeah. It's like 20 minutes past St. Cloud or something like that. Oh. I was taken there one night. Surprise. Ooh. Suddenly, Ooh. I am in a By cemetery a- in the dark, oh. mm-hmm. like a country road cemetery. Mm-hmm. Scary. And yes. um, I could do that again. I would not like to. <laughs> I probably will end up having to do it again. And then, um, but uh, but the house, you're, that's just where you are all night. That's where you are. Wait, why do you think you'll probably have to do that again? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> what, what will, lead you, what will your, your life, life lead you like, to? Listen, let's be honest. I My friend took me there and I think that like he's going to want to go back gonna, at some yeah. point and like... There are other people that I just feel like are going to end you know, up someone. You know, just like take you looking there. at your yeah. social circles. Right. It's bound to happen. Like right. Probably Correct. end up in that cemetery at midnight again. <laughs> like, oh, how, again? <laughs> it's like that but that annoying bar that you know eventually you always end up back at the spookiest road. <laughs> All roads lead to that road, the scariest one. A house haunted Night house in an abandoned house, right. or walk through abandoned a graveyard at midnight. Walk through it. Yeah, that's pretty low pressure. Yeah. 
You yeah. just walk Stakes through it. Stakes are low. That sounds not. Oh, I'd that's very that. true. The okay. only reason I think I still might want to pick the house is I want to look at it. I want to explore it. Do it like in the day. Exploring though. a house is fun. Like, walk through the ga- graveyard. No. Go home. Go to bed. Wake up in the morning. Go look at the yeah. other oh, morning. Sure. I yeah. love Zillow. Yeah. But I don't love <laughs> Hello. real life abandoned house. Yeah, no thanks. There is the a creepy little tiny house that looks oh, haunted and abandoned really like a block away from me. And it's like what? I didn't notice it for like the first year mm. that I lived in this neighborhood. It's not what on if any it just maps. appeared? It's like yeah. I know that's what it's like. Like oh the two God. houses on what? either side Where? look like nice and occupied. Where is it? I want to walk it's past like it. um it's uh so you know the apartments that were built across from Standish Cafe? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's like a few doors down from the apartment building. Can you just say your address on the podcast really quick? <laughs> just kidding, please don't. I'm asking this for off the podcast. I do. That's I just something I love it. about living in an older neighborhood like in Minneapolis is yeah. like there are just houses that are kind of lost mm-hmm. yeah. behind the house. Like, does anyone like even look live at in some there? And be like no one is living there. Yeah. Yeah. It is fully abandoned but like what? Someone could it? live there. Maybe that one night you look and the lights are on. Yeah. Here, I love spooky which is I know why I'm I here. I love spooky. <laughs> and I don't I don't particularly want to invite real life ghost encounters mm, into my true. life. I just that that's for true. me I have a lot of anxiety. Mm, I just don't think I could really handle it. You're saying is the graveyard inviting the ghosts? It is but I think I think a little less so because my, yeah. my exposure is yeah. not as it's prolonged. Yeah. The brevity okay. of it is, okay. is helpful. Looking past them it's like oh that yeah, you're not asking for anything. Walking past, somebody. and if there's a ghost in, this, in someone's house, in a cemetery, maybe they just wanted to go for a stroll. If the, <laughs> if there's a ghost in a house, it's like, oh, you are haunting this house. Yeah, that's yeah. their home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. you've convinced me. Well, how about this? Would you rather be this? covered in spiders or snakes? Snakes, snakes. Ooh. Mm, Ooh, snakes. One hundred percent. Big like tarantula spiders. Um, okay. like like it's a lot bad. of smaller snakes. Mm. Like not big snakes so like, so it's like that scene in american horror story where sarah paulson in coven and she's like banging her husband and there's just snakes everywhere snakes. Oh. yes it's exactly like i'm that. so yeah. down for that i'm like yeah is so, sarah paulson there is, is sarah really paulson like, yeah. there is my follow-up question in next next cases. to you <laughs> but she's either covered in you're, spiders you're not or involved with that but it's not, it's happening, it's happening exactly. adjacent to you. To, i'm happy oh. for her i'm still i'm, I'm happy for her that she gets yeah. to bang her husband and get the snake. Well, no, because it turned out he was bad. Oh, no. And also she's gay. Well, maybe and also can, she's I, gay. So I, I just we don't can know. mourn her. <laughs> that's okay, a scene. He's bad. That's a scene in every American horror so, story. Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> so if we're just gonna if we're just gonna get just down to the facts here. Snakes. Smooth, smooth, yes, yeah. like nice. kind of they sensual. <laughs> oh, are you yeah, okay? Not that's not a leap I would make on a normal yeah. day, but if in this <laughs> situation, <laughs> maybe okay. spiders, pokey little pokey. furry oh. legs, <laughs> just poking all over your body, Tickle, ticklish too. Ticklish so maybe so maybe I, the tarantula, there are like a lot of spiders said. that live in my living space right yeah. now. I'm so sorry, and there are also spiders that are in my my workspace right now, and. Um, oh. my boss keeps telling me that I am I'm bringing the spiders to work. Mm, that seems Aaron, unlikely. if you listen to this, I'm not bringing the spiders yeah. to work. Um, <laughs> that doesn't seem because like I'm thing. right now actively choosing to not hang out with the spiders. Yeah. Um, I feel like I keep accidentally telling this story to like everybody in my life. So Mike and David, maybe I've already mentioned it, but the I'm girl excited. on TikTok who tells the story about how early in COVID, I haven't heard this. She started smelling something bad and feeling really oh, sick all the time, where this is going. and then suddenly there oh, were a no. bunch of spiders no. and other bugs in her room what? and she tried to get her landlord to do like a wellness check on oh everybody but because it was the beginning of covid no th- she was like no like i don't want to mess with anything like i don't you know everybody's just staying at home it's just in your imagination and finally she called the police and this is like 2 to 3 months into these things happening and the police opened the door of one of the apartments next to her and she was like a ways back and she said thousands of no. bugs flew out right when they opened the door there was a dead body that had like fully liquefied no. in a bed that was just on the other side liquefied? of the wall liquefied from her oh yeah like oh it was like my God. like the cops like all vomited liquefied like yes cuz it had been so long Wait, wait, wait! I, I didn't, <laughs> wait, wait, I didn't wait. know that we could liquefy. <laughs> if with the yeah. power of bugs, anything can happen. Yeah. So basically, the they were like 
it was a it was someone who was like estranged from their family and because of covid like rents were frozen Mm -hmm. so like no one was checking on no one knew and this landlord lady was just like dumb so the the police to this girl who had literally been it was her, she it was a studio apartment. She was like literally in a box and her bed was like three feet away from this dead body. And she had been feeling sick and smelling things. And there were spiders oh all over God. her room. And the police were like, you should throw away everything all of your belongings. Everything. because and, like, and your because whole, like the micro bugs, country. like the teeny tiny bugs are probably micro infested bugs. in everything. Oh my God. I heard that's how they made the vaccine. Da, 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 da. They scooped up the <laughs> body and they put it. God. Jeez. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I saw that TikTok wow. series and now I've been just like somehow dropping it into every no, interaction I've had. I think I've that's had. one I'm of the sorry. more captivating stories that I've heard in the last like two months. Okay, cool. Maybe three months. I'll tell you more about it another time. Would more you, about it. Would you rather... <laughs> Eat extreme sour warheads or hot tamales. I love this is such a perfect transition. Extreme <laughs> sour warheads. I don't like hot Actually, tamales. No, I was just thinking today. <laughs> hope we gotta move. <laughs> Emily, you broke her. You broke her. I hope I'm gonna find that TikTok and send it you to you. It could be like a smoothie. I was not expecting any of that. <laughs> yeah, I know. My brain is broken. I'm sorry, please repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's an important one. Would you rather eat extreme sour warheads or hot tamales? The extreme sour warheads, I have not had those in years and now I, love I those. want them. I love them. Um, a lot. They were so really when- big. Where can, you, where can you buy them? I don't know, but let me tell you a story. Yeah. <laughs> this one time. So this one time I was at Shoreview Community Center and my, my friend had one and like drooled on the table and it oh. took the, it bleached <laughs> the table <laughs> and took the finish off of it. Oh God. So I, it's just like oh, acid. No. That's I, amazing. I, I, so I'll eat that. Yeah. Oh my God. I just don't <laughs> yeah. like that ki- like hot tamale like mm. red hot like that kind of can't it doesn't go to, that kind of spicy yeah. with sweet it no oh, i don't no, like I, that I, combo I kinda, I don't, texturally I mean, for me you can't do it well that too yeah i'm o- i'm okay with the texture of those i guess i don't know the extreme sour words really do just taste like stomach acid though <laughs> yeah like that's basically what they <laughs> yeah, they'll are they'll peel your whole tongue right out of your body <laughs> yeah but oh, i did man. really get into them as a kid sour oh, candy yeah. i love sour candy yeah. same I remember there was a rumor at our school that like, you remember how there were like certain levels of intensity? Like there were like yeah. the green apple ones that were like, yeah, the they're sour kind of, one or but something. there was black cherry and that was rumored to be the most intense yeah. of all. And not, we were too scared. We were all too scared. But there was this kid, Jesse at our oh, school that loved the Denver nuggets. And he was infamous for having eaten one once, <laughs> but in like rumored, we never saw it, but we were like, we know, we heard, heard Jesse. It yeah. Yeah. Black cherry. And then like later that year we ate one and it was like, oh, it wasn't that actually like that it was like bad. basically was like, like all the other ones yeah it's just yeah. like a sour candy it didn't yeah. nobody died so mike what you, what are you gonna pick you, yeah. you seem oh, not uh, into either I, well i think i'll go with the warheads because i have more of a nostalgia for them okay. yeah. yeah i never really cared about I the actually, hot tamales i'm gonna be honest i don't think i've ever had a hot tamale I that's feel like, okay. I feel are they like just I, red hots? I, they're basically like red hots, but chewy. Are they like Mike and Ike's? Yeah. Like Mike yeah. and Ike's, but red hot, but red hot flavor. Oh, that's like a bad choice. Like, why would you? Yeah, yeah. it doesn't seem like Mike the worst thing, thing but it doesn't seem like something I want. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Okay. And we can pass that. Uh, okay. Would you rather be scared or scare someone? <laughs> be scared. This is a good would you rather. I, I think, like to be scared. I think be scared actually. Well, well, not like for my how life. Scared, but I like yeah, to be well, scared. Halloween scared. I like to be Halloween scared. My friends like to scare me a lot. I would like to scare them once yeah, for a change, but I'm really em. bad at it because I get nervous that they're going to get mad at me. Oh. And I'm like, I can't do it. Oh, We're not no. going to be friends anymore. I feel like I've seen... Even though they scare you all the time. I feel like yeah. there's, there's like friends. actual yeah. reaction yeah. gifts of you being scared. Like just yeah. on the because, internet. Because I, I used to live those. with yes. my friend Tony and his favorite thing was to just scare the shit out of me whenever he could. So oh, he like no. had like a duck call and he would do that. And then he had an air horn. And then one night I was coming home late and I saw him in the front window and I was like, oh, Tony's up and about. Cool. And I opened the door and he wasn't in the room and oh, he was no. behind the door. Oh. So I walked in and he closed the door and was like, nah, and I, was, oh. I fell on the ground. I, <laughs> people think it's funny too. Cause I don't, I don't like run away or I don't right. hit anybody. Very I just body. fall. Just yeah. Fall. You just <laughs> fall. It's all over. Stop, yeah. drop and roll. That's it's how like, you get away. I have no fight or flight. <laughs> just I stop, just, drop. just crumble. <laughs> there's no roll. It's just how, stop, can drop. Can you say more about how he scared you with the duck call? 
Like, did I, you be like, oh my God, a duck is here? <laughs> <laughs> my worst fear, duck. No, because he doesn't just like cute little duck sound. He like, <laughs> and it's oh, into no. it and late at night and you're like walking yeah, out of the night, bathroom into the, the hallway. B- exactly. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah any, but, any call would scare it's me. It's an unnatural sound night. to hear. Inside my home where yeah, we don't own a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't own any ducks. No ducks in here. Wait a minute. That's the true scary thing. I think I would rather scare someone. I think you would. Halloween scare. The Halloween scare. And not someone who would actually get traumatized. No, I, no that's that no would fun. be bad. Don't I want to be Halloween scared, and I'm afraid I'm not going to be. Oh, we can make well, this happen. Oh, dude. Can you? you can, there's a person who just said, I want to scare my friends. Okay. Yeah, but now she right knows here. I'm going to do it, so it, it's like less. You can still get her. Though, I feel She'll like I'm just going to have a regular old day. Yeah. Just I have to work boy. on Halloween, too, so I just, I don't know. Maybe if you go where Hope works and just kind of look away for a while. Maybe something really loud will happen. <laughs> just <laughs> sit outside. <laughs> Emily, I'll, I'll put something together for you. Uh-oh. Okay. I'll put a little something Uh-oh. together. A little care package. Okay, little but scare I, just package. Scare I just want to be clear. I just want to clarify. Halloween scared is not prank funny. <laughs> Emily, I, I'm prank, aware of, prank annoyed. I'm aware of what kind of pranks you don't enjoy. It's not the same as Halloween scared. Okay. Great. Uh, it'll be as fine. As long as we're clear. And I'm not going to scare your child. That would be very mean. That would be so oh, no. mean. Or my husband. That's what? the tricky thing yeah, about trying to scare Tanner. you is that I have to Tanner's make sure I don't fragile. do anything that scares Edie. Yeah. So that's something true. that's scary to you, but not Some to Edie. Some non well, She doesn't trauma. understand very complex things. So oh. you know what really scares her? <laughs> are so like, I'll give you a copy yeah. of House yeah. of Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean like, you know, like I could probably put like most horror movies on and she don't oh, care yeah. and if it was not. like a jump scare maybe yeah, it would affect her if scared. you get scared is she gonna get scared mm. that's the thing too that's a good question yeah, she, right? maybe one time she got really scared when i got like there was a fly in our house and i had like major bloodlust and wanted to kill it so bad and then she like watched me stalk and kill it and then i looked over at her and she started to cry She's like oh, mommy's no. a killer yeah. Mommy kill. i just get really intense when there are flies i just yeah, want them dead got it she probably had never seen you in that mode no i think like that's very to, true like, and i like you don't have to hunt for loud, dinner and you know, like, <laughs> not anymore smack noise and she didn't like it this is a weird one would you rather Good. carve 20 pumpkins or eat 10 bags of candy corn <laughs> wow in what <laughs> period of time uh, would you it doesn't rather? specify so we'll over say over the month uh, in a day. Oh, oh shit. Well, carve 10 is funny. Pumpkins. Yeah, geez. Like, I don't even think I could eat 10 bags of candy corn if it was my favorite. What if, what if it was a, a week? Could you do it in a week? Maybe. I'm still but carving I the pumpkins. Would. Oh, I think a week I'd I still am, carve the pumpkins. I'm really afraid, and I don't know where this is where my brain went, but I'm really afraid of what my body will produce <laughs> if I ate 10 bags of candy Excuse corn. Excuse me, and like, in, like, in, what it would be like to barf candy corn or, or <laughs> I think is it would come out like a triangle maybe like a little candy corn it would be tapered <laughs> tapered giant just triangle one piece of candy or just corn. like it would <laughs> literally just pass right through you and it yeah, would look like you just put candy corn in the yeah. 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 just you pop just, out Assume oh, that God. candy corn was the only thing. <laughs> yeah, well, ten bags. That's you don't have room for much yeah, well, else. That's it. That's all I can do. Um, oh my God, that's so much. Yeah, that's a horrifying. I think unless it was like a year, I would take the pumpkins. Although yeah. to be honest, I feel like carving ten pumpkins would be really hard. Twenty. Twenty. Ah, oh, that would be so hard. Oh. They would be done very shittily. They very. I am not good no at tasks they had to be like good. that. Okay. Let's see how many letters are in the phrase. I don't like candy corn because you could just carve a letter into each one of them. You know them what? I like the way you're thinking. I think putting letters in them would be good. Anti that's the candy key. corn pumpkins. Yeah, exactly. It's some propaganda. Pumpaganda. Okay, um, next one. Would you rather read horror stories or watch horror movies? This is like a nice question to ask somebody. Movies. I Honestly, movies. I don't want to choose. I feel <laughs> like <laughs> horror stories. I like a it's thriller. A you get one skip. Or a mystery. <laughs> But horror stories. I don't feel like I've read a lot of horror stories. Oh, really? Mm. I've read a lot of thrillers and mysteries, mm. like murder, murder stuff. But like, I I don't know if I would be as captivated by like a, the novelization of The Ring. Maybe mm. I would be. Well, I yeah, know. but I, I think it's gonna. It. But it, it, okay. Yes, I hear you because I also don't read a lot of horror genre because it. I'm. I don't know. I just the visuals from. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And also, like, I've heard that House of Leaves is, and I haven't read it because everyone's like, it is one of the scariest things I've ever mm. read in my life. 
And that's right. intriguing to me. Yeah. Be- but because they're sensory know. in different ways. Yeah, that's true. It uses like your, you know, it's like jazz. It's the stuff the page doesn't say, you know, it's yeah. like, yeah, I mean, it is like, I think uh, the best horror stories yeah. are the ones I've read that like made my imagination go wild uh-huh. rather than like a movie just shows me the scary mm-hmm. thing. And then I'm like, fuck, that's, that's pretty fair. scary. It's like, it's like when people fake their death. And it's so scary. Like the the conspiracy theory that like Elvis is still alive. Like, why did he fake his death then? Well, who was after him? What, what was going on? It's just on? like a spiral. Like, there's, there's a spiral right, of like all of these questions. And it really is the like, so what was so bad or so mm. whatever that you were like, mm-hmm. I gotta go. So that's scary because yeah. it's super unknown, right? Yeah. The unknown. The so story is good. Do you at think that conspiracy unknown? theory is a horror story? That Elvis is Maybe? a scary I scary think that I'm, I'm fascinated by conspiracy theories yes, for the same reason are, that I are. like horror. Yeah. I, and see, it's because I see the question. The, there's yeah. a lot of like, what? Yeah. How? Hey, why? How? That's, what could it be? Fair. True. Uh, movies. I would still pick movies. I, I think I would too. Yeah. yeah I, I like yeah. reading horror, but yeah, it's, it's also just, yeah, there's so many great horror movies to watch for Halloween. It's, I feel like that genre like could have just been like a short lived like popular for I don't know what I'm mm. saying I'm just saying like I feel like that genre <laughs> has exceeded what it needed to be and just been so amazing in a good way so, right. yes, yeah. yes 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 yeah I it agree is so rich yeah, so with rich. options hmm. wealthy you, yeah I I am in agreement <laughs> we Ro- got you Roger, you got me Roger Ebert called it like one of the only genre that you don't care who the actors are he said it better but like, yeah. you don't, like it doesn't matter oh. what actors are in huh. that movie. Like you're just like, interesting. Oh, it's a horror movie. That's like, really true. I'll watch true. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If the concept is like in any way intriguing yeah. or even like ridiculous, Still, people will be yeah in. Would you rather have a pet bat or a pet spider? Oh, <gasps> pet bat, bat. Okay. Pet bat. Next. All right. Pet bat. Spiders uh, are. Would you rather <laughs> have it? <laughs> would you rather have it rain candy corn or rain Snickers? So Snickers. Many candy oh yeah. G- Snickers. Get off the candy corn They're wagon. Just odd. I can't Jeez. help it. Confessions I know. of parenting. Can, <laughs> Confessions of parenting.com <laughs> needs to take the candy corn back to the store. It's expired. <laughs> <laughs> um, raining snicker like whole bars. I guess that sounds hurt, not even fun size. Me. It, it doesn't like hurt me. Yes. I want to be inside, but then I want to go wanna, out and grab them. I, I actually yeah. feel like the Snickers the would window. hurt less. Is you know they're bigger, good? so it's not like oh, you're not being. Like and I feel yeah. like the, they're they're like a little bit mushy, cushioned by like the a nougat and the nougat. chocolate. Yeah. Candy corn is just like little pellet pelted by hard little yeah pointy they might even stab if they were coming down fast enough they like embed themselves into your body full stab i'm just thinking about the cleanup though like think of a street full of mushed up snickers are they not in the wrappers I'm assuming no. <laughs> I, I assumed they were. They were. The rap- are the candy like, corn in bags of candy corn? <laughs> <laughs> like it's just whole 10 ounce bags of I candy mean, corn. I mean, I would just, if they the were ground. in the wrapper, that would be no problem because we could just all shovel them up. I'm oh, still yeah, going to go riches. out there and shovel them up regardless. Even if they're, like, yeah. I mean, it's true. Like, they're not going to kill you. That's candy. Yeah. yeah. Top layer is very safe. You scoop it all up and then everybody goes to town. It's Would great. you rather sleep in a coffin or inside a giant pumpkin? Coffin! <laughs> coffin! Pumpkin. Ew. Coffin. James and the giant pumpkin. That's could, there could be some bugs stringy in there for mess. me to be friends with. Yeah, it would be stringy. That's true. But and stinky. Yeah. And stinky. And wet. Stringy, I stinky, and wet. <laughs> perfect sleeping environment. My perfect home. Uh, would you rather be chased by zombies or wolves? Yeah. Like real wolves? Yeah. It's not werewolves. It's just, it just wolves. Says wolves. It's just I don't know, man. <laughs> just, <laughs> okay, they can be wolves. Would you that rather are be werewolves. chased by a Dracula or a guy with a gun? <laughs> <laughs> just a guy. He's pretty scary, right? I guess zombies. They're slow. Yeah, it depends. Chased? Yeah, it depends. Zombies. Some of I guess them are it's twenty eight got... days later. Wolves. Yeah. Or wait, zombies. <laughs> Is it the wolves from twenty eight days later? Um, I'm gonna pick wolves because I feel like if they get me, I'll just be like. Oh, wait, they're werewolves? No, regular. Regular wolves. If they're regular, <laughs> regular wolves, I'll just be like feeding <laughs> yeah. animals and not Aww. feeding zombies. Mm, okay. Yeah, you're giving back to zombies nature versus giving back to like bad. the paranormal. Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of evil force. We assume zombies are bad. They seem like a negative thing. Yeah, like, they're meanies. Yeah. They're me- they are meanies. And I also wouldn't want to like contribute to their numbers. Oh, you If they got one. me, they would get uh, then i become one. What if you become a wolf? I would just become be a wolf. pretty cool. <laughs> wolf poop. Hey. Would you rather eat a bloody Snickers bar or a Twix covered in underarm hair and sweat? What? <laughs> what the hell? 
this list was like, hey kids, what about a, do you like candy or Sleep pumpkins? Pumpkin. Maybe you could enjoy a nice movie or a book. You want to bleed out of your whole body or get killed by me? That escalated like, so geez. Okay. Do them again? Hold what was that? A hair, time. A hairy, bloody Snickers. Bloody, nasty bloody Snickers. Who's bloody, blood? bloody Snickers blood? bar. You don't know. Mystery blood. <laughs> it says you don't know. Or a Twix, a Twix covered hey. in underarm hair and sweat. Wow. Who's sweat? Oh. Who's sweat? Who's you get to choose. That part really gets you can choose me. who's blood or who's sweat. I'm not. Oh. I'm eating the Kidding. bloody I'm Snickers. I'm doing bloody Snickers. <laughs> Hands down. Yeah. There's some iron in there. Yeah, exactly. You can sweat. eat blood. Absolutely not. I cannot. No. Well, s- s- blood is better than sweat. Hair for me. Hair. Exactly. The sweat. Well, just I guess that's, that's true. Fine. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I just, I feel like hair is so I nasty. really have a problem with sweat. Hair is so nasty. But the I don't slime. feel like, I don't think you would taste <laughs> the it. The slime. Would the idea of the sweat just turn you off? Yeah. Of the, okay, but the yeah, hair, right. okay, let's be real the though. I wasn't so even nasty. thinking about the hair yet. The hair is terrible. No. Yeah. Yeah, blood. Never. Bloody ever. It could be any, even a blood. bad. It could be a uh, bloody hot tamale, and I'd still eat it. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, I'll take that over that like, sweaty, yeah, hairy Snickers Twix with hair bar. It. Oh. it was it was a Twix bar, not a Snickers bar, correct? Uh, the Snickers bar is bloody, and the Twix. <laughs> yeah, the Snickers bar is bloody. Just, just, just I just got confused. I, yeah, the just Snickers bar clear. is bloody. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Cool. <laughs> cool. I think I think we did it. Yeah. I think, yeah, we, I, think I think I think we did it. Was that all hundred? That was all hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't count. That was a hundred. We did them all. Time flies. Oh my god! That that's last amazing. one really. Yeah, wow. That's a good do one. Do they just right? get worse and worse? I mean, we did them all, so we'll never know. But you know. <laughs> yeah, the last one just says, "Who would you kill in this room right now?" <laughs> <laughs> I really hope all of you have a happy Halloween. Yes. In celebrating you, in Michael. whatever Halloween means to you. Mike, I hope mm. you get to see a pumpkin. Yeah. I really do too. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> Thank I you really so much. Halloween yeah. blessings to you Thank all. You all. Mm, Thank you. Yes. Last final question. No questions asked after this question is asked. Would you rather trick or treat? Treat. 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 Oh, oh, thanks, everyone. Yeah. Bunch of snacks. Okay, bye. Good bye. Day. Happy Halloween. Bye. Scary. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, scary. Bye. Theme music by Jaden James and the Hunger. Logo by Christian Hagen. Edited by David Gutchie. If you want more of our hypothetical content, join our Facebook group or like our posts on Twitter or Instagram or give us some stars and a review on iTunes or wherever the heck you get your podcasts. Do you guys, do you smell skunk? It's probably I weed. think there's skunk wafting. I don't smell skunk. Do you, oh, you smell something else that is skunky? Mm. It might be weed. Could be weed. It'd be weird if it was a skunk. It would be really, like, I, I mean, would be people, surprised people if it was a skunk, weed. honestly. <laughs> I think it's weed. Yeah. Like 99% sure skunk, it's weed, though. dude. Emily's a mom. She doesn't know what weed <laughs> smells like now. Oh, no. She has now forgotten. E- Edie, is that a skunk in your room? And Edie's like, no way, mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, mom. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, I ran over it in, in my her car. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry I'm implying your baby is smoking weed. She's not a baby. That's okay. Honestly, she'd probably chill out a little more if she did. <laughs> 